Buford Delaney's captivating untitled painting from 1959 pulses with energy and life. This quality and its gorgeous palette of dashingly applied yellows, pinks, blues, and greens were among the key factors that distinguished it from the other works by Delaney that were available to the museum when we were looking to acquire work by the artist in 2017. Delaney is perhaps best known for his masterful use of the color yellow, which appears in both abstractions like this one and his expressionistic portraits of his friends and associates, such as singer Ella Fitzgerald and author and activist James Baldwin. Delaney used yellow to represent light and spiritual energy in his work. Here, he not only draws upon the expressive power of his favorite color, but demonstrates how it can be brought into a dynamic conversation with other hues as well. Along with his colleagues Norman Lewis, Charles Alston, and Hale Woodruff, Delaney was one of the most highly regarded black artists working with abstraction in the 1940s and 50s. Born in Knoxville, Tennessee in 1901, he studied in Boston before moving to New York in 1939. There, he gained acclaim for his vivid expressionistic paintings of the city streets and of the people that he befriended and admired. Delaney left New York for Paris in 1953, searching for inspiration and, like many other American expatriates of the time, seeking freedom from the biases and prejudices based on race, gender, sexual preference, and even artistic style. As a closeted black man working in an abstract idiom, Delaney was keenly aware of each of these indicators of difference. The challenges that they presented weighed upon him heavily. For Delaney, art was a positive escape and a source of joy and solace. Writing to Henry Miller just a few years after completing this painting, Delaney stated that the goal of an artist should be, quote, to release everything, that is, to include all in each stroke, every breath drawn, to release into the work our reaction to that which cannot be said or portrayed. Indeed, he poured himself into his art, a quality that is almost palpable in this painting. Reviewing a 1962 exhibition of Delaney's work, in which Untitled was included, artist and critic Paul Jenkins could easily have been referring to this canvas when he wrote, it was as if he had cut hundreds of flowers and crushed them, stems and all. While some museums in the region own portraits by Delaney, and another has an early expressionistic New York scene, Untitled is the only major example of the artist's abstraction in the area. It was acquired with funds generously provided by the Catherine and Thomas Belk Foundation in 2017.